Okay, guys, I want to show you a little trick. Okay, uh, this is going to be either a bonus or this might be for limitless training, but this is just something that you might not know how to do. Um, you might find this useful. You should find it useful. Okay, basically, it's how you can actually um, download a Facebook video and then you can convert it if you want to on YouTube or you can back it up. So, say for instance, you've got um, loads of Facebook. Uh, videos that you've done you put inside Facebook and then you're always wondering oh well what happened if I lost my Facebook account you're going to lose your videos right well what if I told you that there's a way you can back this up all right well this is what this is all about so I'm going to show you now so we're going to shrink the screen down and we're going to jump straight into it so the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to we're going to demonstrate it on my limitless okay so we're going to use my limitless and you'll see here for argument's sake um that there is a video which I've put up here okay this video here I've put up and you'll see that there's a link this particular link is what we're going to require for us to be able to um, if you like scrape the video from Facebook and then we're going to be able to download it uh, as a unique document which then I can put it into my other alternative video systems I use online or I can put it into my YouTube, okay? And then I could convert this YouTube into an unlisted and keep it. Or I could even just keep this code here, okay? Because the problem is, is if you do get banned from Facebook or Facebook, heaven forbid, broke, right? You're never gonna be able to get those videos unless you know how to be able to retrieve them. So this could be one of the most important videos you ever come across, because I'm gonna show you how you do this. So it's very simple. So what we're going to do is let's if we have a look at the video. So the best idea, all right, is if we go into my guides area, and we're going to look for a video in my guides area which I've done. Okay, so this one here might be a good one. Limitless training, easy Twitter method. Okay, you'll see that this video. Check to see what video it is. See if it's a, a YouTube video, then um, it's not going to work. Okay, so let's have a look at this one. Super tall. That one's not going to work. So we need to find one that I've actually recorded using Facebook because this is what it's designed for. So if it's something like limit to part three YouTube systems. SEO. So if we um, keep going through until we find one, keep going through. Now, the reason why is because it will have a copy link. Say, so this one here, this one was is a video which I've uploaded into my Facebook. So we're just going to keep going until I find this one might be worth. Let's try this, right? So we're going to click on here, and we're going to look for the copy link. Okay, so now we've got the copy link. We've grabbed the copy link. Then what you're going to do is you're going to head yourself over to fdown.net. And fdown.net is a Facebook video downloader. It's completely free. You can actually download this uh, or, or you can actually use it. You can also run it as a Chrome extension as well. Okay. And what we want to do is if, where I've already used this, I just need to refresh the page. What it will do is it will reopen the page up. So it says here, download another video. Start editing, close. And now what I do now is paste in my link, which is this one here, okay? And you'll see that this is httpsfacebook.com, right? So what this is, is this is an actual Facebook video which I put up um, because uh, there's, there's good points and bad points. If you use Facebook videos, 
then Facebook is going to love you because you're keeping a native content with inside your Facebook um, groups. All right. So if you put YouTube on it, then you're steering people from Facebook to YouTube and Facebook frowns upon that. Right. Because they want you to stay on Facebook forever. All right. So if you have a video that you've uploaded into Facebook, then you're going to get more exposure from it effectively. OK, so we've put the Facebook link in. We'll hit download and you'll see that this little trial thing is running across. And what it's going to do is it's going to tell me this video might be private and not public. So it's not going to allow me to do this particular video. That's interesting. OK, let's go back. Let's try this one. Copy link. Now what it might be is it might be because it's a YouTube video that's been uploaded through Facebook and that's the reason why it's not doing it and it's not a true Facebook video. It's like a live feed. So say for instance I've done a live feed um, online and I've been talking about like stuff, right? Then what you might find, let's go back if we go through here see these are all my if we go back into home and we look for a live feed video so it's a feed where it's, it's a live feed I think that's the reason why it won't upload it because if it's already a YouTube video like this one here okay this is a perfect example Talk for the Limitless Members Plus did you see it yet okay so this is one that has been just done live on Facebook right so we can do is go here click on this link grab copy link then you're going to go back to here you're going to use fdown.net we're going to paste in the link and now we're going to hit download and you'll see I'm just going to come out of this we're going to go back into here okay so www.fdown.net so we're going to hit download online and then we're going to paste in this link and we're now going to hit download so it's another one i think the reason why is because if it's already sort of like a youtube video and then you convert it it's not going to like it so what we're going to do is we're going to download one which I've already downloaded which I know works okay <clears throat> so we're going to use this one we're going to click on here we're going to copy the link because this is my latest video which I've done online with Facebook okay so you'll see I think a Facebook watch now download Okay, so it looks like that you need to watch the URL as opposed to try and download the actual course subject. So if, say, for instance, we copied the link, um, like this one here, if I copy this link and now I place it into another Facebook group, okay, well, this is one of my groups, so I can use this. So I'm going to click on here, create post, Facebook. And I'm just going to put, you might find this interesting. Okay. And then I'm going to paste my link. And then I'm going to post. And what it's going to do, that's going to put this link. I'm also going to post it out to here. Post. And now I'm going to refresh the page. And that link should be live now. There it is. You might find this interesting, right? Now, if I copy this link, so I open this up.
what we're going to do is we're going to do a little bit of hacking okay so we're going to copy this copy the link across we're just going to pop this in here i'm going to show you something Right, we're going to paste this in and what we're going to do is we're going to grab the other link that I had which was here so if we go back and we're going to grab this watch link okay we're going to grab this because it looks like this is the code that we need right so if we go back in here and paste this link in here Go back there. Paste that link. Okay, so HTTPS. So if we copy this here, paste that in there, and then we're going to try and copy that. We're going to go back into a link it's here, paste that in there, and then download. And what it's done is it's actually grabbed the code of what that Facebook link is, all right? So there's a little bit of um, black hat technology there, okay? I just showed you something there which. Um, you're probably unaware of what you can do but what you need to do is you need to get the Facebook watch URL okay that's really what you need once you've got the Facebook watch URL you can actually download that so say for instance you wanted to get someone's video right and you wanted to use someone else's video or you might be using something and you might be putting it into TikTok or you might be putting it into Pinterest or you might be making a short you might be making a reel you might be making um you know uh, a, a small sort of like demo video and you need to get some footage from it well then that's how you can do it okay so it's by using this it's called fdown.net uh, it's got a chrome extension as well which would probably work better if i use the chrome extension because then i'll be able to just right mouse click and just download it and that's going to work a lot better so um hopefully this is going to help you guys okay it's just something it's just another thing that i wanted to show you you just see me work in action and you'll see that if we go to the download, this is the video that I've just downloaded. You can hear me. You'll see that that's downloaded. If we go to quick access, we'll see this video here, which we just downloaded. Okay, and there, and again, it just downloads it really, really quickly, and it just downloads it as a normal video. And then what you can do then is you can just upload that video. Uh, if you've got a hosting site, you can put it in a hosting site or you can upload it and put it into your YouTube channel, okay, by just simply going to here, upload video, upload the video, and then give it a name. We can do it together now. If we click on here, I'm just going to let this will open up my YouTube channel, click select file, and then we're just going to grab this video. And then I've just got to call it, so this is for my membership, so I can call it Limitless Film 1, right? Now, because you're making it cla unclassic, um, un well, well, I'll show you, I'll show you what we're going to do. Paste this. Okay, so we just do that. You don't need to do anything else. You don't need to do any SEO on the YouTube channel unless you're actually going to be putting it across there, okay? Um, but if you're saving it, then you really just need to just do it very, very simple. So don't have to worry about a thumbnail or anything like that until you, you want to transfer it across. So uploads complete. So we're now going to hit next. And we don't need to worry about any of this. Click next. It's done its checks. We'll do next. And then what you'll do is you just move it to unlisted. Anyone with this video link can watch this video. And then click save. And that's it. 
and then what you've done now is you've got 26 minutes of video footage which has been backed up using your youtube channel which doesn't cost you any money that's it guys many thanks